rectitude carried to excess, hardens into stiffness. Benevolence indulged beyond measure, sinks into weakness, said Date Masamune, born on 5th September 1567 in the Yamagata prefecture of Japan, died on 27 June 1636 in Edo, was a regional ruler of Japan's Asuchi, Momoyama period through early Edo period, hired to a long line of powerful daimyo in the Tohoku region. He went on to found the modern day city of Sendai. An outstanding tactician, he was made all the more iconic for his missing eye, as Masamune was often called Doku Gandryo or the one eyed dragon of Osh. As a legendary warrior and leader, Masamune is a correct character in a number of Japanese spirit dramas. He was played by Ken Watanabe in the popular 1987 NHK series Doku Gandryo Masamune. Date Masamune said, Rectitude carried to excess, hardens into stiffness. And that was the daily talk in India. They say Amurtu Jasi Adri, it converts into Vesha poison. Anything more Amurtu, anything more sweet is poisonous. And everybody knows in India, rectitude carried to excess hardens into stiffness. You keep on rectifying and one day, one of the person who was a very, very, what he call uh, is very fanatic of naturopathy. 100% he follows naturopathy. One day he came and told our doctor, Dr. Janard, who was a naturopathy doctor, very old person. He came and told him, I've been following naturopathy 100%, but I have this constipation problem. What to do? Doctor said, just walk to the beach, pick up a small pinch of sand, eat and come back. He said, sand? Dirty? Stinking, you told me to follow 100. He said, Don't worry, you go. He went and took, and his problem is solved. Sometimes you have to think outside your box, not that idiot box. Your, your philosophy, your practiced discipline, the what. You kept on telling, my mother said, my father said, damn it, drop. Every time telling, my mother said, my father said, my guru said, drop it. And that's why they say in Zen, if you see the Buddha on the road, what should you do? And the Buddhist monk said, kill the Buddha. Why you should carry him? Kill the Buddha. That doesn't mean... You are killing the Buddha, but it just means you just keep him away so that you can think outside the Buddha. Buddha has shown you the finger. It is for you to seek and find it. Don't take the finger. Don't take the Buddha. Leave the finger. Don't catch the finger and think that is the path. Buddha said, there is the path. And you have to walk that path to see. Dr. Masamune said, rectitude carried to excess hardens into stiffness. That's why you can see so many gymnasiums and all the bodybuilders, shameless characters, wearing hardly any dress. If a girl wears such dresses, then they talk something bad. The man hardly wears any dress. And he goes to gymnasiums and spends a huge amount of time building up his mind. It stiffens him into a nobody. We do not want such things. No, no. All people go to the karate classes and becomes mad. And then we find that they couldn't even stand to fight even a single man. It stiffens. It creates fear. 
and the body rejects yes rectitude carried to excess hardens into stiffness that's why when maria montessori said the best teacher is the one when children were doing their work they don't even know that a teacher exists in the class if such is the class that is the real teacher because the teacher is stiffening the child but without asking unasked for advice buddha said don't give any advice even if they ask also you have to be very careful whether they are really asking you know them very well for them to put it into practice otherwise don't say anything maria montessori said and it was beautiful and if all the schools all the parents practices that leave the child but give him the project whether the child is in maintenance department of the house yes whether it is in food department yes like in rakum school food department knows not just south indian food not just mode and uh, um visible bad or chitrana those who are in the kitchen food department if they are going to make dosas on every saturdays then it should be dosa set to dosa masala dosa and uh, onion dosa varieties of dosa if they make one dosa this saturday the next saturday it will be another dosa same on the on the idli of idli is on tuesdays in rakum schools idli with vade then it be rava idli then it be tatta idli they have varieties to make sure yes and if they are going to make uh, all thursdays they are going to make or uh, fr fridays they are going to make if it is puri then it is puri and then it is uh, ch chola bhatura it goes varieties chapati is also they have varieties but if it comes to palav they if it is one vegetarian palav then they have to carry on with the non veg palav then they have to have varieties of uh, biryanis varieties of biryani then on thursdays they have uh, in bread butter and jam no no bread butter jam then you must go one day once in a month you must go to english breakfast bread butter jam sausage uh, eggs scrambled or to it is yes that helps the child to penetrate deeper to become one of the best cooks if the child is in hk department housekeeping then the child knows what goes how to clean how to update it up rectitude carried to excess hardens into stiffness leave the stiffness in the in the flexibility is also there is a beautiful discipline but discipline out of creativeness not out of destruction not out of fear benevolence enters beyond measure sinks into weakness in india i found benevolence for the parents side unasked for advice is unasked for giving the children anything and everything we ask in japan my ono chan has got two sisters when ono chan finished her high school she wanted to go to university mom said wait i have to go ask the father and the discussion father said okay i will sponsor i will sponsor in india that topic i will sponsor your university education and immediately she has to go i promise to make sure that i will study and get you the best result out of that plus i will make sure that i'll i'll go and work 20 hours apart from my studies 20 hours in a week or in a in a month they are allotted yes that discussion is not stiffness is flexibility flexibility is growth flexibility avoids you from diseases flexibility allows your child to see the world and you are suppressed the girl child has so much that has to come out and only then we can find democracy only then we can find that god is there in the temple for you to even touch the puja or to light a lamp 
that a masamun is a rectitude carried to excess hardens into stiffness. Stiffness is disease. Stiffness is weakness. Benevolence indulged beyond measure sinks into weakness. 